Hi, it's so nice to see you again. Today we're going on a leaf hunt. Some of our best activities have been when we had a chance to go outside and explore with our families. So why don't we read a story by Steve Metzger and illustrated by Mickey, Mickey Sakamat Moto so that we can learn how to go on a leaf hunt. We're going on a leaf hunt and it's time to read. So let's turn the page and find out what's next. Illustrations by Mickey Sacramento. Look at all the colorful leaves. We're going on a leaf hunt. We're going right away. Let's find colorful leaves. It's a wonderful day. We're coming to a mountain, a tall, tall mountain. We can't go under it. We have to go over it. We're coming to a mountain. Come on, let's go. Climb, climb, huff, puff, we made it. Pick up those leaves from the maple tree. We're going on a leaf hunt. We're going right away. Let's find colorful leaves. It's a wonderful day. We're coming to a forest, a dark, dark forest. We can't go over it. We have to go through it. We're coming to a forest. Come on, let's go. Step, step, squish, squash. Oh, we made it. Pick up those leaves from the birch tree. We're going on a leaf hunt. We're going right away. Let's find colorful leaves. It's a wonderful day. Let's turn the page again. We're coming to a waterfall, a swooshing, swooshing waterfall. We can't go through it. We have to go around it. We're coming to a waterfall. Come on, let's go. Slip, slide, splish, splash. Whew, we made it. Turn the page. Pick up those leaves from the hickory tree. Mm, I like the leaf pile. We're going on a leaf hunt. We're going right away. Let's find colorful leaves. It's a wonderful day. Turn the page. We're coming to a lake, a cold, cold lake. We can't go around it. We have to go across it. We're coming to a lake. Come on, let's go. Row, row, plip, plap. We made it. Turn the page. Pick up those leaves from the red oak tree. What's that sound? It's coming from that bush. It's black, it's white, it's black and white. It's a skunk. Let's go. Back across the lake, plip, plop. Back past the waterfall, splish, splash. Back through the forest, squish, squash. Back over the mountain, huff, huff. We're home, we went on a leaf hunt. What a wonderful day. We found lots of colorful leaves. Now, let's jump and play. The end. Boy, I think it would be time, it's now time to learn how to hunt for our leaves. And maybe we can even jump into a pile of leaves too when we're exploring. So while we go on our hunt, we're going to use our eyes to see how many different colors can you find. 
my picture is blocking some of them, so I'm going to make it a little smaller. And we can find yellow, red, green, brown, orange, and maybe, if you're lucky, you can even find a multicolored leaf. Oops. See, how many different shapes can you find? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I wonder how many shapes you'll find. Here, what do you hear? What do leaves sound like when the wind blows? Oh, let me move my picture in here. You can see the wind blowing the leaves. How about when you walk on them? What do leaves sound like when you jump in them? I wonder. How many different textures can you feel with your skin? Let's count how many we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty leaves. I wonder if they all feel the same or if they feel different. We're going on a leaf hunt with our families. When you go on your leaf hunt, be sure to bring a bag to collect your leaves. Then when you're done, sort your leaves. You can sort them by size. Are they big or small? You can short, sort them by shapes so by putting them in piles that all have the same shape. Or you can sort them by colors like red, yellow, green, brown, orange. Here's an example of how you could draw, or you can even copy this if you like. You can draw and write words to sort. So this would be all the red leaves, and you put all the yellow leaves here, the orange ones here, the green ones here, and the brown ones here. If you don't want to sort by color, you could sort by size. You could do large, medium, and small. You could also sort by shape. Here are one, two, three, four, five, six different shapes. I wonder what shapes you and your family will find. When you're done, you're going to think, hmm, out of all the ways I sorted, what was my favorite way to sort the leaves? After you pick your favorite way, you're going to go to the discussion and you're going to take a picture, record yourself showing by holding up your sort, your favorite way that you sorted the leaves, and then you'll submit it to me on Schoology. I am so excited to see how you sort your leaves this week. And I also have really been enjoying all the amazing instruments that you created last week. Way to go, scientists. Keep up your great exploring. I'll see you next time.